Sindara Guru. I'm a global IT manager. Oh, that's, I said Ooh. manager. You I'm a global are. IT director um, located in Moundsview, but I'm joined here today with Kathy Welch. She's one of our um, distinguished global IT managers that's accompanied me on this trip to Bangalore. And I wanted to just ask you, Kathy, um, sure. if you can give us just a, your current responsibilities and what brings you to the center on this visit. Sure. Um, my current um, applications that I actually manage, because I manage the support and development resources um, for global applications, um, would be um, ServiceNow, um, Legacy GRS, the financial applications like Hyperion, Expense Express, CorpTex, and some other um, smaller applications. Tririga, which is a real estate um, property management application and testing tools. And then also um, PPM, which is the new um, project management software that um, supports the MP3 process. And the reason I come here to Bangalore is to really meet my team that um, is doing the support and development for ServiceNow. Um, and then also um, impart some education or some information regarding some of my other applications that hopefully um, one day will be supported from um, team members here in Bangalore. So Kathy, it sounds like you've got a wide array of applications, platforms, mm -hmm. systems that you manage. You can go get the service anywhere, right? You can go and get IT services and capabilities, laundry list of providers and pretty big ecosystem mm -hmm. for help in this space. Why here? Why Bangalore? Why Why is this a differentiator for you? I think the differentiator is because they are um, Medtronic employees. Um, they really feel like they have a stake in the health of the applications, the support, um, and the level of commitment they have to actually um, follow up on the incidences and actually broaden their experience and development and really um, that really great attitude about um, providing the support. So that's why we come here to try to get the resources we need. When you're not traveling to Bangalore, Kathy, what's some of the, the fun things and hobbies like you like to do? Well, traveling, um, but for pleasure instead of... For work, instead right? Instead of just for work. Work is good, but um, hiking, um, shopping, um, camping sometimes. Um, those would be some of my hobbies. Reading, things like that. How long have you been with Medtronic? I have been with Medtronic just a little over four years. Um, so my anniversary date is actually in April. So just a little over four years now. So what made you come to Medtronic? Meaning, you know, is there, is there, a, what gets you up? What gets you excited about working at Medtronic? Um, I would have to say the mission is very important. Um, also, the um, people that I work with, very positive. Um, the variety of things I get to work on. Um, just that a span of um, things that I get to learn. I think those are the things that get me motivated to come in. And like I said, it's changed quite a bit since when I started. The applications that I've supported, so that variety is really great. And just being able to work across different areas and learn new things. So as a um, key message you want to leave with folks as they're watching this video, you know, is, is there a fun fact that you want to share? Maybe, maybe this is something. What is kind of like a surprise? You had this perception about, you know, the Bangalore Medtronic journey. Is there anything that surprised you about what you've experienced so far as, as you've been engaging in the center and, and the talent? I think um, just how quickly the, the center has grown has really surprised me that we've been able to actually get such talented, high talented people um, in to support and that we've got to um, choose from. That has um, surprised me a little bit, in a good way. And I remember coming last year in July, and only a small portion of the center was actually staffed or actually had um, office space built out, and it's now almost doubled. That's probably the most surprising thing. Last question, most important question, Kathy. Sure. What is your favorite Indian dish? <laughs> and say rice. Rice does not count, it just in case she says just rice. 
I was going to say rice. (laughs) I had a couple of chicken dishes that I did like that weren't too spicy for me. So that's been a little bit of a challenge. (laughs) But I can never remember what the names are. So I am not going to have a name for it. So next time, if anybody is watching, make sure that, you know, Kathy has a really good dosa or samosa. Okay. Okay. So thanks so much, Kathy, for for joining us for this little fireside chat. Um, We hope that the next time you come, you tell us about some more of the the additional capabilities and platforms that you have here at the center. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.